This time on Bronco Bronco Adventures, husband and wife tackle the light bar. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning back into Blanco Bronco Adventures, and we're not in the Blanco Bronco. Better yet, we're in a soft top Bronco that we just stole from a friend in the Bronco group. All right, we are gonna go install a light bar and surprise him with an ox beam light bar installed on his Bronco. He works in remote areas and he needs light, so we're gonna give him that light. What do you think? It's gonna Let's be do a it. great time. When driving another person's Bronco, I feel like it's only proper to you know dig through their stuff. We got spare keyage. That's good. Handy. Ooh, Colton, my man. No, got some mine. nice lip. Oh, I brought that. Ooh, <laughs> Nautica Voyage. Bronco Bronco Voyage. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like Colton now. I smell like Colton. <laughs> Damn, I smell good. That's right, guys. We stole a Bronco, but for good reason. We're going to add a light bar to the front of this thing from our friends over at Oxbeam. Check them out. Look at this light bar that they hooked us up with. I mean, it is serious. So, our friend that drives this Bronco tends to work in remote situations, going up in the hills to work on our power lines here. So, this is gonna serve him the purpose of being able to get off road, light the way in front of him, and you know, watch out for obstacles. But, how are we gonna mount this? Oxbeam provides you a couple ways to do it, which is really nice because instead of mounting it to the top of the bumper or wherever, we've got just the solution in mind. So, let's get to mounting this. We're gonna put it on an auxiliary switch. We don't know which one, we're gonna pick one. So, Monica, you get to decide which one we're gonna use, pick one. All right, so here's what we found out. This light bar draws eight amps. So we can run it to either four, five, or six, I believe, on our aux switches. And he already has a six for the ditch lights. So we're gonna run it to five. Get out of there. Struggling? Struggling. Struggle is real. Struggle is real. Let's pop the hood and find our aux switches. Can I pop your hood? Ah, hood prop. We gotta get you set up with some. You know what I'm saying, Colton? We got you. The 5D Pro Series, 15 inch. You know, huge. So what we're thinking? Took off the bumper caps. We're thinking we're gonna get this thing like right in here. And the way we're gonna do that is with the provided hardware from Oxbeam. We're gonna use these to go right through our bumper bolts. I think it's just gonna make it for a perfect situation. We're just gonna have to drill these out. You know, don't be scared to modify your stuff. I'm open Bronco Men 6. <laughs> All right, now we just gotta take a bracket and make it to where that bolt will go through. Let's figure this out. I need drill bits. What we got going is we drilled out our bracket and we just, you know, bolted it to the Bronco on both sides. Because the light bar is just a little too narrow for the Bronco, we had to bend those brackets and kind of shimmy them around. But that's what's cool about this light bar kit is it's not meant for Broncos, but you can you make your Bronco work with the light bar. Let me show you. So now our brackets line up just ever so perfectly. We're dealing with our friend's Bronco here, so it's real important we keep care of it. So we cut the crap out of it. Is what I did is I sharpied out where we thought it was gonna line up, and then I ground on it. And then I came back and I test fitted it. And then I ground on it some more. And then I test fitted it. And then I just decided to grind on it some more. But we use precision tools so it can't be wrong. Oh, now you bring it back. <laughs> so, uh, I had to spray paint a little bit of your Bronco. Just not the paint. And I might have cut it up a lot, so we're not done yet. <laughs> That's all right. We'll just take parts off yours, right? That's fine. <laughs> now all we got to do is we just got to run our wire from our light bar up behind the bumper. And then, with the provided wiring harness that they send you, and it even comes wired up for a relay, and a switch just in case you don't have auxiliary switches 
This system is plug and play. We got auxiliary switches. Monica, what switch are we using? Five. Five. Quattro. No. Cinco. We don't need all this. All we need is this. So we're going to take, cut it off right there somewhere and discard. So let's jump onto the wire. Now is what we got to do is we actually got to mount the light bar to the said Bronco. All right. So we've already started to get our wire run up through the bumper to our, you know, wiring switch area, whatever you want to call it. You call it whatever you want. Now we're just going to get the two main bolts in the end of the light bar. So that way we know how short we can cut our wire. So Colton, I know you own this Bronco. And I got to admit something to you. Okay. While I was driving, I had to kind of look through your stuff. Can okay. You your console. All right. Did you find any guns? No, but you're <laughs> cologne. I smell beautiful right now. All right. So I just want to thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So we're hooking up to auxiliary number five, which is your blue and white. Orange. Blue and orange. Blue and orange. So. A red one is going to go to the blue and orange. A black one is just going to go to a ground. I think these are an eight millimeter. All right, the ground is officially tight. Now, what switch? Five. 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 So let's flip the switch and see if we have light action. Ready? Kapow. That is a light bar, if I ever seen one. That's really bright. I wouldn't want to be staring that down out of the highway. But now, we got to make this sun thing go down. Look at how beautiful the day is. But, sun needs to go down so we can show you off-road what this light bar is actually capable of. So, let's do that. Check it out, guys. We're just setting up photo opportunities, right? You got to look and see how bright this light is. We're out here at the lake and the sun's almost down. So... Check this out. <laughs> there it is. Boom. From our friends over at Oxbeam. You got to check them out. We're going to link them in the description below. They have some awesome products that you can get and put them on anything. It doesn't have to be a Bronco. It could be a Jeep, side-by-side, -side, whatever. But for now, you got to get off the couch and just go create adventures. That's what it's all about. So we're just ruining this guy's adventure, backing up his boat. So... <laughs> Keep your ox beam light on, you know. They want to see right through that. So, look at that. Colton's even got the ditch lights on there, you know, right there. This thing looks awesome. Don't mind if I say we did a pretty good job installing that. What do you think, Monica? One out of, like, a million. A million and a half. <laughs> Sold. I thought you said you could skip it. Can you skip it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for 12. 12. Well, that was like five. So good enough. 